Hello again, take three. See if we can get the technology working this time. Okay, so hi everyone, welcome back to Create California. I'm Brittany and I'm talking with Karmit Picard today and I'm very excited. And uh, before we get going, I'm just gonna post in the comments here and pin um, to please sign the pledge. We, we do all this great stuff with Create California to get a comprehensive arts education in California schools. And uh, one way that you can help out right now, which will take 15 seconds, is to go to the comment that I pinned on, um, on the feed. Uh, it's createca.org. Uh, and you can go sign the pledge. It'll take like 15 seconds. It'll be really, really quick. And uh, it, it, is, it will actually get things done in a very short amount of time. Well, that it'll take you. We'll see for the rest of it. But um, yeah, we support a comprehensive arts education in California. A uh, big reason why is because it's, it's literally mandated. It is, uh, I'll, I'll read it to you, the ED code says that all students shall have access to music, dance, theater, visual and media arts every year, all year from K through 12. That is the actual mandate. And as of before um, COVID hit, only 12% of California schools actually hit that mandate. So we're trying to work on that. And today with uh, who's joining me today to talk about arts education and the arts and school and um, artistic careers is, let's see if I can do this by this time, is the amazing Karmit Bakar. And let me just let her in. Technology works this time. Oh my God. Yes. Yay! I have to try to lower my thing, huh? I know, me too. I'm like, <laughs> so funny. I never this know how those, that technology, was. This, this Mercury retrograde is really killing us, huh? Oh my God. Just like every way imaginable. Oh, thanks for hanging in there. I don't know what that was. That was crazy. Uh. It was hilarious. I was like, really? I so I like updated and then I came back and then it was like not working. I'm like, oh god. So I went live for a second. I was like, you guys are trying to make this happen. So <laughs> how are no, you? You're so like, I, I saw your comments and I want to be like, no, I believe you. I I saw your thing come up. I saw the request. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So funny. You I did a great though. job. You held it together. <laughs> yes, exactly. Together we can solve Instagram's deepest problems. No, probably not. I don't know enough yeah. about coding. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah. it was, it's nice to meet you virtually. Yes. So I think there's a tiny bit of a lag time, but it's so nice to uh, to chat with you and to have you on. I'm very excited. Same, same. And, I, and I'm just happy to be a part of this, you know, just movement because I think it's so crucial. It's so imperative. And I have a nine-year-old, so arts is like extremely important, especially now when, you know, the kids are all doing virtual school. She's in front of the computer the whole time. And I'm like, there's no, there's no interaction. And even if she takes a class, like she's still, you know, I, I have had her take dance class, a theater class. It's all on Zoom. It's still, there's this, you know, element that art is so important to mm -hmm. integrate into the lessons that they're learning. Cause she is an artist, she is creative. And oh, when she's just sitting in front of the computer all day doing math, doing, you know, English, yep. all of a sudden she, her attention, it wavers, you know? Yeah. So um, firsthand, obviously you and I know we've been fortunate enough to create, you know, a career in this, yeah. but regardless of where you want to go in your life, just having the arts is such an integral part of, you know, creating your own flow and your own creativity in whatever avenue you want to go. You know, that's, yeah. I mean, that's what employers look for ultimately. So, um, and we live in the industry capital, California, mm -hmm. where it's like the, the statistics and what you just said is shocking. Like I know, right? Crazy that less than 12% when it's a mandate, you know what I mean? It's like, how could that not be happening? So it's kind of, yeah. it's, um, I just, I think it's so important. Thank you to create California for just bringing it up and, and making, raising awareness. And that's, that's why I joined on too. So. That's awesome. Well, I, I love that you did join on and, and I'm, I obviously that's why I'm here too. I'm really passionate about it. And, 
and yeah, learning about once I started to get involved with the Create California and learning about the facts and learning about like the twelve percent. I want to be like that. That's you know, arts education should be mandated, but it is mandated, and it's still not happening. Right. And yeah. like, they shouldn't, that sentence doesn't make sense. Yeah. And, um, and then learning right. like how much arts education, like even for the kids that don't want to go into the arts for their careers, like you're, you're three times more likely to get a bachelor's degree if you do have an arts education when you're a kid. And yep. that's in anything at all. Yeah. And, um, and Absolutely. five times more likely to graduate from high school. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. like statistically, it makes sense academic, like as an academic whole. Um, and then for the arts in general, because California is obviously, it's a huge, huge part of our economy is, is the arts. I mean, look at you and me. And yeah. also your nine year old, you said, is already artistic. What type of things do they, uh, what's their, what's their poison? <laughs> she, I mean, she loves musical theater. So she loves oh. movement within musical theater, but she's also so, she loves, she's really, she edits like her own videos. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and so she posts stuff, and then it's like, you know, she she likes kind of a multitude of things, and I'm just kind of, like, leaving it open for whatever she wants to do. Awesome. But, I mean, she, it, it, just creativity is, when she's doing, like, free time, like, everything she wants to do is completely so creative. I'm just like, I let her go on that, you know, and it's like, it's just as important as academics. That's the Absolutely. thing to me that I, I feel like so passionate about this so um yeah and i and also the thing about arts in general it's not just like entertainment value it, it it's known to heal trauma and, mm -hmm. and that right now perfect example of what we're going through it's yeah. like kids are kind of you know absorbing and they're resilient but they're absorbing like what's going on but they're kind of just they're kind of it's funky and they don't and, and yeah. she's had moments where she has like meltdowns and stuff like that but yeah. i know that if i take her out and we do something you know like we'll we'll, we'll dance we go on a walk with them we'll like like create sort of like the way tiktok dances are oh i love that it just takes you out of that you know having any kind of like stuck in your your head moments, it's a weird right? headspace yeah so, yeah, so mentally it's just really important. Somebody even, um, I went live for a second <laughs> and a bunch <laughs> of people jumped on and they were just like, and I started, started talking about stuff and they were like, yeah, it helps me mentally kind of like just not be so caught up in my head, you know, which is great. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think, did you pin the, the, um, the link i thought i did i did i was about to say i don't trust anything i do anymore um on on yeah. technology but i did yeah thank you for pointing okay. that out yes yeah because you want everybody to sign the pledge and i told everybody to jump on from my my live because i think sometimes they i don't know if they can see, can they see it right when i'm on oh. your on this live right? i think they can but then i've also noticed in the past that sometimes they can't and i don't understand I, I, I don't, I obviously don't understand anything anymore, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> but usually crazy. they're supposed to see when you, when you jump on, it'll like pop up that you're doing a join yeah, live with somebody, but I've definitely yeah. seen a bunch of people popping up. Um, mm, I don't know. Okay. Well, I told them to come over. I wish we could also tag, we can't pin, there's that, there's a video, um, just on arts education as a public health issue as well, which is really yeah. great. Um, oh, you have a video of something like that? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we'll try to like. I mean, oh, we'll oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Um, um, yeah, it's true though. I mean, I'm like during the beginning of the of, of of the lockdown and everything. Like the first thing I did for like the first week or two was literally just watch my own like comfort TV shows and movies, and I was taking in art and other people's art, and that was comforting. And then I got to a point where I was like, I need to start creating more. And then that's when it really hit when I was like starting to feel and, like. I struggle with, uh, with, I have an anxiety disorder. And so, you know, I have some mental health stuff that just gets skyrocketed. Okay. Yeah. So you get it. Like, it's just skyrocketed. And so once I got past the point of being a little more comfortable, I was like, okay, now let me get to a point where I can create. And it really was when I started being more creative again in um, like writing, for instance, it's one of the things I like to do and you can do it anywhere, which is so great about the arts is a lot of the arts you can, you can dance anywhere. You can write anywhere. Right. Um, I just, my mental health became yeah. so much better just when I started writing again. And yeah. uh, kids need to know that that's, that's an option for them, no matter how old you are. 
and sometimes they don't even know, but it's like a, it's like, it just does what it does. Art does that to it's you. Like it's like instinctual. Kind of, yeah, it's, it's part of your imagination and it's part of just like building on that. And it's such a prime time when you are a kid, that's when you're just like most open. It's so great. So I, I, I'm, I think it's incredible. There's some cool talking points here, which I want to make sure that we um, hit upon. Yeah. Um, for people to know. Um, so we need to participate in local elections and go to school board meetings and city council meetings and make it known that we care about arts education. So basically this is just about to, to let everybody know that come time to vote, you know, just to be aware of arts education and students yes. and what this means, like keep it in mind for you guys. And so that's why we're asking you to sign the pledge and just to make sure we'll keep you create California, which is create CA. Is it underscore? Create. No, I think that's just for the social media pages. Social so media. yeah, for okay. the website itself, it's just create ca.org. And then, and then what Carmeet was saying too, um, about, about voting in local elections and I mean, all levels of elections, uh, on the website, which is where you can sign the pledge. You can also find more resources, um, about voting in general and about uh, our side of voting too, the arts education yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. right now, especially that is so, so important. Um, and I just feel like these times are showing us even more so why it's why it's important. Um, okay. Yeah, it really does. It helps to it helps anyone recover from trauma, build resilience. Um, yeah. Any of those things. It's both like a proactive and a reactive thing, which is great. It's like both of those things in one. Yeah, yeah. One school. I was at that school, but yeah, but um, which is great. And then it's also, there's some things that says students with arts education do better professionally, which um, in 2019, California's creative economy generated 2.7 million jobs. And, you know, that, that says something right there, obviously. I mean, we're yeah. lucky, you know, we live here, but totally. like, anywhere you go, it's just, I feel like it's such an important part of anything you do. You know, you have to be creative or it's like your brain's just like, eh, like reciting, regurgitating yeah. what we already know. And so it's like, we have to get out of our head and get into our creative imagination. And that's what the arts does. So, um, and sometimes yeah. like, I love when I hear stories about people who, you know, were introduced to something and they didn't, they didn't even think that they would love it. And then they love it. And then they end up going in that field. So you never know what door is going to open yeah. with arts. Um, and there's so many opportunities with that. So obviously create California is just, you know, raising awareness and you guys can check in, sign the pledge. And that way, anytime there's anything that you need to be alerted on. So information or go to the, obviously go to the website, you guys, it's really important. So um try to spread the word obviously right like yeah. tell your friends to keep it in mind i'm trying to think of what else um we need to touch upon oh and also just people who are engaged um in the arts education will become more civically engaged as well and they say that they volunteer more in their communities like there's so many things it just kind of opens you up yeah and um, yeah, yeah, and I think students are 30% more inclined to pursue a professional career if they have an arts education. So it kind of going along with like, even just the thought to pursue something and to go after something, um, right. regardless of what field it's in, they're just, yeah. I mean, 30%, what a huge percentage, bigger than the percentage of the mandate being in order. Right, <laughs> right. It's like it's almost three <laughs> times as much. That's crazy. It's just crazy. The effect yeah. of it. And, and you growing up, I'm sure you personally had a lot of support um, about going into the arts because your both your parents were dancers. I mean, your dad worked with Marcel Marceau, I saw, and danced Elvis. with Elvis Presley. Yeah. I mean, right? And you all this craziness. Yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I nerded yeah. out so hard. That's so great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. My parents supported me, but I can't imagine if they, if they hadn't exposed yeah. me to the arts, you know, where my life would be. Um, so I think it's, why, why, why isn't it more, you know, what, like, that's crazy to me that it's not, I didn't even know, like you said, I didn't even know that it was in the ED code. Like that's, yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah. really crazy. So, I mean, it's super important and yeah, I'm lucky that my parents were, you know, involved in that and here, I grew up here too. So I was exposed to a lot, but yeah, who knows my life would have been very different, you know, had I not. 
Oh and yeah, no, same here. I was fortunate that my parents were so supportive of the arts and they both sang and they were just like casually um, creative all the time in front of me in addition to into supporting me. And I, I mean, I became a professional actor when I was 11 and that certainly wouldn't have happened if yeah. my parents weren't creative so um, or supported it. So a lot of yeah. kids don't have that support or not even that support, but that awareness that it's an option. Yeah. And so for kids that don't have that, it's so important to one, know it even exists as an option to have a creative career and right. to have that outlet in school, whether they want the career or not to, to be creative. Um, right. They're five times more likely to be uh, uh, recognized for academic achievement if they have an art right. education, like just in general across the board. So yeah, there's no absolutely. downside. Yeah, and my mom ended up becoming a dance teacher in uh, the LA Unified School District. So oh, she cool. taught for over 25 years. So she, you know, utilized her and she had a dance career prior to and then transcended, you know, <laughs> into becoming a teacher and educator. And she was the, um, the, the coordinator, magnet coordinator. So she like, oh. was a kind of, you know, I, it's for me, it's inspiring, obviously, but just goes to show, you know, where it all took her as well. So yeah. um, I, I just learning all these statistics, though, is so crazy. So I'm really yeah. like just schooling all my friends on it now, too, as well. So yeah. doing everything that we can do. So yeah, totally. Yeah, no, both my parents are teachers and my brother is, too. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Yeah, in the Burbank Unified School District. Oh my God. Okay. So just Great. right next door to LA. Yeah. Totally. Totally. So, so. Yeah. We're hearing a lot through them too. I'm like, Oh my God, it's so important. Um, yeah. but yeah, I really appreciate you supporting this so much. Um, yeah. it's yeah, really important. Sure. And uh, I love that you're using your voice literally, huh? Singer. Um, to, uh, to get this word out. <laughs> I know we got to create a little create California jingle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you should definitely create it. That's for sure. <laughs> We will create it. Come on. <laughs> okay, you create it, and then I'll take half credit. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for using your voice as well. I think it's super important, and that's what we can do in this time. And I hope to meet you soon and in person. <laughs> yes, I know. I can't wait till there, we have that opportunity. But yeah, I hope to meet you in person too. This was fun. Even messing yeah. up the technology with you, I was like reading your comments. I'm like, she seems cool. I like her already. <laughs> So um, it was like, we'll so nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you to everyone with Create California as well for, you know, being passionate about this and raising awareness. And uh, we're going to do all we can and make sure you guys go out there and vote. And yep. um, yeah. November 3rd, go vote. Yeah. Or send in your ballot now if you have it. Send it in as early as possible. And also yep. go to createca.org and sign the pledge. Do all three of those. Or yes, sign the do pledge. two sign of those things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right cool awesome well thank you um Carmen. this was so lovely and everyone thank you thank so much you. for watching and thank um you. have a wonderful Yay. wednesday evening everyone you too bye Carmen. bye